Hey guys, in one of my previous video I show you how to use the computer and the watch properties in Vue.js and in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, the watch deep uh, properties okay and why and what, what we need to know about the watch deep properties is that sometimes you don't you don't want to to watch just for the single value you just want to watch in some um, in some object for example or some JSON that is coming from the backend and you want to get a little bit more in depth in 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 the object so you need to use the deep uh, properties so from Vue.js okay and today I show you how you can use it if you remember from the last video how we can use the watch properties I just remind you here make a small reminder let's say that we have the input that it's with the uh, V models uh, some value okay and we want to display this some value we want to get the value from from the input dynamically uh, using the watcher so what we do is that we say we say watch and then we say the sum value we want to get the value from inside and then we want to console log the val there we go we save it we start typing and as you can see that immediately dynamically we get the value from the input okay so um, probably in the last video I forget to show you that there is a, a different syntax that you can use it and it's look much more uh, clean and useful and it's uh, very easy actually that's the the uh, string syntax so what we can do is that we can say a sum val and then we make it object and inside we say uh, the handler is returning some method for example get some val it's going to be the method that is returning once when uh, the sum bar was changing so we have to create the method here we need the comma and inside that we say that's the method and again we just want the value and let's console log to see what we have here and if everything is working correctly we should get the same like the, the previous there we go we get the value dynamically okay so let's go on to see how the deep uh, the deep properties is working uh, with the Vue.js the deep watch okay imagine that here we want to lock some changes if uh, if for example the user or for the data that is coming from the backend is changing for example the price has changed so we want to get uh, these changes immediately so um, if for example you want to reuse the same method that we use uh, in the last in the last example in the get some value and you say products and uh, if we say this actually first of all we have to make something that we can change these properties dynamically so what we can do is that uh, we can make inputs that they're going to change the, the price of our of our products so how we can do this is first of all we need one v4 so we create a div and we say v dash four sorry and we say uh, what we need here is that we need the item then we need the index and then it's going to be in In products okay so we need the key okay and the index is going to be our key so inside we say the input the type is going to be a number and a V model the V model is going to be the, the item dot the item dot price okay let's save it and there we go we have uh, the three prices of the, our three items as you can see we have a three, 36 25 and 66 okay so now we want uh, to lock some changes once when we change the price as you can see here the in the watch we uh, we watching for the products 
and let's see that something happening actually uh, we start typing and as you can see we don't get any changes that's because we need just to add and just with this small change now you see that actually when you start typing something we get all the information okay so what we get is that we get uh, all the products with all the objects inside um, probably we don't need all this information or probably we just need to filter um, the price and in some cases for example we want to know when the prices change we want to do something so let's go on to do a very small example when we go going to combine the computer properties with the watch properties and how we going to do this is that first of all let's comment it out this one because we don't need it and second let's create the computer properties there we go we say computed we need the comma here and let's create our property let's call it foo and actually we want to watch for the after value and for the before value there we go and that's going to that's going to return this dot products and now we have to map it and say the item we open error function and we say return item dot okay we just return the item dot price so what that means is that um, when the prices change we want to get some value so what we do is that down there in the watch I show you that that's working actually and let's console look after and before value just to see that we get some values when we're changing there we go we save it let's refresh the browser and clean the the console and start typing and immediately we get exactly what we need and what we need is that's the the after and that's the before value so we can compare for example which one has changed and in this way we can figure it out which is the the block which one is the object that we are working on the moment okay so uh, to make this more clear let's say let's say the new value it's going to be equal to um, the after and we're going to filter it and in the filter we say that the arrow function we open it and inside we return here we're going to compare the B the B index of it's going to be equal to minus one and after uh, in and later later on you see uh, what I mean by that okay so we're done with that we can save it and down there we can say the new element that we can filter it and let's say that's the element is equal to the products that we're going to filter it and we say filter and here we can open the arrow function we can say i and a curly place we need there we go and give it a little bit too much space that we don't need it and now what we can we can return the i dot the item price which it's equal to uh, the new value which is equal to the new value uh, actually the new value is going to be a uh, array so we can make it a string here there we 
go on let's console log just to see what we getting with uh, the element we save it and we can clean and we can start typing to see there we get zero we don't get nothing here let's see what where is actually the problem here so first of all let's console look uh, let's console look actually we're going to console look the new value that we needed let's see that we get some something from there and the new value is empty so we we make something there we go guys there's an index of something so index of and that should be fine for now we don't need this one sorry guys the index of something have to be but i just miss it save and now when we start typing actually let's go to clean here let's refresh the browser and let's start typing again and there we go so what we get here is that we get the items that they just changed in our case we just changed uh, the raspberry pi the first one so we get as you can see uh here we can say that's going to be the first one and we want to know the name let's try again there's the raspberry and there's the raspberry dress change okay so let's say that you want to do some combination between uh well the raspberry pi 3 it's changed the price from this to this uh and you can buy it in amazon okay so as you can see guys how we can use the deep uh, properties and what kind of combination we can do with the properties that they start to work in the way that we want it uh, as you can see as well that there is a, a quite more options that you can do and please let me know down in the comments that if you have some better way to do this kind of uh, this kind of stuff that we just do in this example thank you guys and uh, i appreciate if you like the video just give us a thumbs up and just subscribe if you're on yeah subscribe for my videos thank you and bye see you in the next video